Joined now by Rena Ann Pick. She's the executive director of the Georgia Rivers Network, and she is very involved right now. She's at the Capitol as they are talking about the Okefenokee Protection Act. Uh, Ms. Peck, why don't you tell us about that? What does it uh, exactly do for the Okefenokee Swamp? Well, it would protect the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge, and it's North America's largest blackwater swamp and one of the world's largest carbon sinks. It would retire um, the ability to mine on Okefenokee's Trail Ridge, which is the eastern border of the swamp. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has come out and said they expect that mining on Okefenokee's Trail Ridge, the impacts there would affect wetlands within the National Wildlife Refuge. As you mine the titanium dioxide, the sands, it changes the groundwater flow and the groundwater is what holds the water in the swamp. The swamp's very shallow and already some of our water trails go dry. And that's my dog in the fight at Georgia River Network. We're head of the state water trails program. So we wanna keep those water trails open for outdoor recreation and for the scientists to access the swamp for their studies. And then we also don't want increased drought due to mining, lowering the water table, which can cause uh, more fuel to be available for wildfires, which are natural for the swamp, but are not desirable for the surrounding tree farms. And those fires spread from one side to the other. So what happens in the southeast corner of the swamp can infect the entire swamp and those communities. And a lot of people feel like the Okefenokee really controls the water that goes not only in Georgia, but down to Florida and the quality of it. So it can impact a lot of people. Certainly, it's a Georgia-Florida issue. Um, the St. Mary's River comes out of the Okefenokee and is our Georgia-Florida line uh, carrying the water out to Cumberland. This bill, House Bill 71, the Okefenokee Protection Act, is already co-sponsored by over half of, the, half of the House of Representatives. But what stands in the way or what the platform is to launch it is the House Natural Resource and Environment Committee. And so it'll be their decision if the Okefenokee Protection Act comes to a vote. And once it does, it would pass the floor and hopefully the Senate as well. Peck with the Georgia Rivers Network. Thank you very much for explaining this bill to us. We appreciate your help. Thank you. And if, if your listeners want to um, do anything, they can text SWAMP, the word SWAMP, to 52886 and get in touch with your legislator. Thanks for all your support and come visit the SWAMP.